So just a very brief uh, introduction to programming. The programming capabilities of this calculator are very nice. I <laughs> really enjoyed it. Um, to start a new program space, you can use the go-to menu, or you can edit a previous program that you've entered. So here's a length program. I've selected that one. I go to program, and here's my Here's my program here. I can step up and down through it. I've already started a new one, um, but to start a new program space, you can append onto the old one and use a global label, or you can start a new one by doing double dot. So now when I go to program, it's a zero byte program. It automatically puts in the end for me. So let's say I wanted to do a program the classic example in the HP manuals, something that will um, calculate the uh, the area of a circle. So A is equal to pi r squared. I'm not going to try to be efficient here. I'm just going to uh, run through this real quick. So I can I'm going to go to my program function and I'm going to lock it. So I do it again. Shift program function, shift program function. So I'm going to do a label and I am going to call this, uh, how about area? This takes a little bit getting used to this, this alpha. It does clean up the keyboard, but it is a little bit slower and takes some getting used to. So I entered that label, enter. Now I am going to input that will ask the user for R. So I want, I just hit enter to go to the alpha menu, R, enter. Okay, and I am going to square that. So let me back out of this menu, square it, put in pi, and multiply those together. Okay, and that should be the end of the program. So now if I go out here and I execute, it brings me up the programs that I have. I can scroll down through them. So here's my area program. Prompts me for R. I enter in 5, hit the run stop. And it tells me that the area of that circle is 78.54. I can execute it again. Ask me again for R, let's do it for a different one. Run stop, 153.94. And I could also have, instead of doing the input here, just said, use whatever is currently in the stack. So delete that line, and it uses whatever is in X and squares it. So now, if I go here, I go 5, execute area, and it gives me the same thing, 78.54. Um, there's, there's a lot more things you can do with, with programming. Um, much, too, much too much to talk about here. Most of your program functions will be under this menu. You can go here, so your labels return when you're doing uh, subroutines, you can return out of that subroutine. Request input, view variables, uh, that's your alpha register view. You can execute, so execute a certain line or execute a certain subroutine. Um, do x compared to zero functions, so is x equal to zero, not equal, less than zero. Uh, compare X and Y. Um, this will be prompt. So again, read the manual if you really want to get a handle on this. Um, there's one other thing. Oh, you can assign your function, your your programs that you create. So this area. See, I want to assign it to my custom menu. So I would do assign uh, program, 
assign area, and let's assign it to that part of my custom menu. So let's say I'm going to be finding the area of a bunch of bunch of different things, and then I want to take the cosine. So let's assign uh, function let's do cosine. So I'm going to find the area of 5, and then I'm going to take the cosine of it. Uh, the area of you know, 6, take the cosine of it. Not that that's really helpful, but just an example of how you can set up your, your menu. And there's, there's lots of stuff you can do with the program. Um, here's a program. Where is it? Length that I entered that's based off of... Oops. I guess that one got got messed up somehow. I wrote a quadratic formula program that prompts you for a um, a b and c of your a x squared plus b x plus c equals zero, and gives you the roots of that. Um, but yeah, you can write your own conversion routines if you want to convert between units. Uh, there's uh, vectors. Let's see if I've got that one still in here. So this uh, vector here. So say I've got uh, three, two, one, and one, two, three vectors. So I can enter in. Uh, I'd start from this side first, so one, two, three. I'd store that as a vector. And I can enter the other one, so three, two, one, store that as a vector. So now I've got these two vectors here. And then I can take the cross product of them and change that back and put that back in my stack. So now I've got four for x. Um, negative 8 for y, and 4 for z. Uh, I can switch between polar and rectangle. In, in, anyway, this is a program that I entered in based on the uh, manual, and it populates this custom menu for me. I can take the dot product of my vectors. I can find the unit vector. Really, your your options are unlimited almost with uh, these programs. And there's plenty of programs that people have posted online, so just go take a look.